New at five, David Tepper in the city of Rock Hill striking a $20 million deal in the failed team headquarters project. This is part of a new agreement filed in bankruptcy court, seeing here the city of Rock Hill getting $20 million from the sale of this failed project property. And of course, this agreement comes after months of back and forth and finger pointing between the two parties. WCNC Charlotte's Indira Skiva joining us live outside Rock Hill City Hall to talk about these developments. So Indira, is this considered to be a win for Rock Hill? Well, good evening, Vanessa. The hope is that this will allow things to move forward faster, right? If the bankruptcy case is settled and that site is sold, that will hopefully mean another developer will bring something there that can flourish. After months of disagreements, David Tepper and the city of Rock Hill have agreed on something. And if their agreement goes through, the city of Rock Hill would walk away with $20 million. So it sounds like a good deal. We had South Carolina bankruptcy attorney Mandy Powers Norell look over the agreement filed in court. She's not involved in the litigation. She says as part of the agreement, the city of Rock Hill will take over the 240-acre project site that's owned by GT Real Estate. In turn, the site will be sold, and after claims are paid off, Rock Hill will get to keep $20 million from the sale. So this can result in not only things moving faster in terms of the litigation, but also getting the property sold faster because this clears the way for the sale of the property and that clears the way for, um, for everyone to get paid. If you have a blanket settlement. South Carolina State Representative Gary Simrel has worked on this project from day one. He says the site has a lot to offer from its proximity to Charlotte and I-77 to the new interchange that will soon be completed. He says it's time to move on and focus on the positives. I know there is interest. It is obviously listed. Uh, I know it, it, there, there is interest that has been peaked in that piece of property and why wouldn't it be? I mean look at where we are uh, next to Charlotte obviously you've got over a mile of interstate frontage uh, along I-77. I mean it, it is ripe uh, for quality quality development. Now, in order for this agreement to go through, a judge has to sign off on it. There will be a hearing in this case on Wednesday. I did reach out to the city of Rock Hill, GT Real Estate, and even York County, though they have not reached any settlement for comment, all three declined. Live in Rock Hill, Indira Esquiva, WCNC Charlotte. All right, we shall see what happens. Indira, thanks for those updates there.